will solve some numericals on unsymmetrical faults on upper power system. Start with uh, the faults on unloaded generator. The first example, the statement at 20 MVA 13.8 kilovolt alternator which is solidly grounded has subtransient reactance of 0.25 per unit that is taken as x1 the negative and zero sequence reactances is given as 0.35 and 0.1 per unit respectively then for a single line to ground fault occurs at the terminals of an unloaded generator you have to find out determine the the fault current and the line to line voltages neglect the resistance this is the problem statement then you have to find out the fault current and the line to line voltages when there is a fault occurs start with that is you have to take uh, some first step of solving the numerical is to convert the given per unit quantity to a common base quantity here the simple way is take the machine rating itself as a the new base quantity that is base quantity what i am using here is 20 mva 20 mva and 13.8 kilohertz as the base quantity means the machine rating as well as the new base quantity is one and same therefore the parent parameters remains the same that is x1 is equal to 0.25 of course it is j x2 is equal to j 0.35 and x0 is j 0.10 per unit these are the values then you have to find out the the fault current therefore the formula what we are using here for finding out the the fault current in the line to ground fault that is the if is equal to 3 times ia naught that is nothing but 3 times ia1 that is equal to 3 times ea divided by z1 plus z2 plus z naught this is a formula then the value of uh, z1 z2 z naught here he is given as a reactance therefore it is your z1 this is your z2 this is your z0 that is he is given the reactance that is in the formula you have to put j.25 j.35 and j.10 then what about the voltage that is the voltage the terminal voltage actual voltage is 13.8 and the base is also 13.8 therefore i'll write e a that is ea is equal to 13.8 is the old quantity 13.8 is the new quantity or it is actual divided by base that is equal to one per unit this is taken as a reference therefore it is expressed as one an angle of zero degree per unit as a voltage therefore you have to find out what is the value of if substituting all this that is three times that is ea is one an angle of zero degree divided by z1 is z.25 z2 is 0.35 and z0 is z.10 then if you are working out with the, with the calculator the what you are getting here is the the total fault current the if what you are getting is minus j 4.29 per inch is the, the current then if you are calculating the fault current it is a per unit value therefore what i want is the actual value therefore you have to get the actual value of the fault current that is i fault current per unit multiplied by i base that is you have to multiply i base therefore what i am doing here is the 
I have to find out the base current IB. IB is equal to it is MVAB MVAB into 10 raised to 3 divided by KVB or in the simple way just you have to apply your basic the formula that is that I will put here that is IB IB is equal to it is MVA is 20 20 into 10 raised to 6 of course it is root 3 into 13.8 into 10 raised to 3 that is the base current what we are getting here is 837 amperes therefore the actual fault current what we are getting here is j 4.29 multiplied by 837 therefore the total fault current what we are getting here is minus j 3590 amperes this is how you have to find out the fault current this is the first part of the, the calculation what we did. That is, main our object is to find out the value of the fault current. That were expressed in terms of the actual value. Next, what he asked here is, you have to find out the line to line voltages. Line to line voltages. For that, what you have to calculate is, you have to find out VAN, VBN and VCN. That is, per phase voltages of the, the generator under fault condition. Therefore, I will start with a derivative of this. Okay. Now, we have to find out the our next object is to find out that is V A N V B N and V C N. If you are getting V A N as V A naught plus V A one plus V A two and V B N can be calculated as V A naught A square V A one plus a V A two. Then we have to find out the V C N as V A naught plus A V A one plus A square V A two. Therefore, the first object of finding out V A N V B N V C N is to find out the sequence voltages. You have to find out sequence voltages. That is, we have to find out that is V A naught is equal to minus I A naught. Z0, then you have to find out VA1 that is equal to EA minus IA1 Z1, and we have to find out VA2 that is equal to minus IA2 Z. But you don't know the what is the value of the IA0, IA1, IA2. For line to ground fault, you are derived that that is IA1 is equal to IA2 is equal to I A naught is equal to E A divided by Z1 plus Z2 plus Z naught. That is on an angle of 0 divided by J.25 plus J.35 plus J.1. That is if you are calculating thus that is the value of I A1, I A2 and I A naught that is what we are getting here is minus J 1.43 per int is the, the value of I A 1. Once we know the value of I A 1 that is equal to I A naught that is equal to I A 2 then you have to substitute in this equation that is I A naught I A 1 and I A 2 and corresponding angle of Z naught Z 1 and Z 2 then you are getting the value of the V A 1 V A one as 0 0.643 per unit 
and VA2 you are getting minus 0.4 in it and the VA0 you are getting minus point of course this also minus we are getting minus just I will drop it off this that clearly here this minus it is also minus 0.143 per unit these are the value of sorry it is uh, the values just you have to check just a minute that is VA naught as minus minus 0.143 VA naught and VA2 is minus 0 0.50 and the VA1 you are getting 0.643 just you have to be very careful about the calculations and order of VA0, VA1 and VA2. Once we know the VA0, VA1, VA2, then you have to substitute these uh, values in this equation so that you will get VA1, VA2, sorry, VAN, VBN and VCN, where in this case, what you have to substitute here is, in this, A is also, you have to substitute as, A as one and angle of, 120 and a square as one and angle of 240 then the value of ia1 that is ia2 and ia0 you are making use to calculate va0 va1 and va2 once we know the va0 va1 va2 and value of a and a square that you have to put in the van vbn vcn thereby you are getting the value of VAN, that is VAN, what I am getting here is 0. It is quite evident. That is, it is, there is a line to ground fault occurs on the phase A, therefore the voltage becomes 0. If you are adding VA0, VA1 and VA2, you are getting the value VAN is 0. Whereas VBN, the VBN, what I am getting is minus 0.215 minus j.990 then you have to substitute value of va0 va1 and va2 and to get the value of the vcn that is what i am getting here is it is minus 0.215 plus j.990 that is the, the value of VA, VB and VCN that is VAN, VBN, VCN our main object is to find out the value of the line voltages the line voltages are VAB that is nothing but VAN minus VBN. Of course, it is a the phase are difference. VAN is 0 minus VBN is minus 0.215 minus J.990. Therefore, VAB, what I am getting here is 1.01, .01, an angle of 77.5. 7 degree so many per unit similarly you have to calculate that is v b c that is it is v b minus v c v b minus v c just have to substitute v b is v b n you can call v b n by v c n okay that is minus 0.215 minus j.990 this this is a minus it is minus 0.215 plus j.990 that is you have to substitute value of vbn and vcn therefore 
you are getting VBC as 1.98 1.98 an angle of 270 so many per that is we're getting VBC here it is VAB then the lastly you have to find out VCA VCA that is equal to VCN minus VAN here once again VAN is 0 therefore VCA is equal to VCN that is equal to minus 0 0.215 say 0 0.990 if you are expressing that in polar form that is 1.01 an angle of 102.3 degree per unit this so you have to calculate the the value of the fault current the first is the first step is to take the the base quantity you have to express on this base quantity your voltage per unit you have to calculate you have to calculate the base current calculate the fault current by the, the appropriate formula if it is a line to ground fault it is three time, times ea divided by z1 plus z2 plus z0 thereby you are getting the fault current then you are find out the sequence current thereby we have to find out sequence voltages once we know the sequence voltages then once if you know the sequence voltages you can collect calculate the per phase voltage under the fault conditions when, once you get the per phase voltage then you have to find out the the line values you have to find out the the line values okay the same thing i am uh, showing in the the ppt for just you have to observe this particular carefully the same calculations i made here therefore first what i am taking is 20 mva 13.8 kilohertz as the base quantity therefore my actual value is 13.8 the base quantity is 13.8 therefore my ea is 1 per net okay since the internal voltage is equal to the terminal voltage at no load condition then we derive the equation for line to ground fault the ia1 is equal to ea divided by z0 plus z1 plus z2 then you have to take the ea as a reference therefore one an angle of zero degree divided by the corresponding value of po zero positive and negative sequence reactants therefore what i am getting ia1 is 1.43 per unit then you have to observe here the fault total fault current ia is three times ia1 or it is three times ia0 therefore if you are multiplying three to this then what i am getting is the total fault current that is minus j 4.29 per unit the base current you have to calculate that is 20,000 divided root 3 into 13.8 just now we are uh, calculated that is it is same as 20 into 10 raised to 6 divided by root 3 into 13.8 into 10 raised to 3 one and the same because this 10 raised to 3 and this 10 raised to 3 is reducing directly is putting it as a 20,000 20, divided by root 3 into 13.8 therefore the subtangent current that is the subtangent current what we are getting here as by multiplying the the base current to the fault current then the value of the fault current is what i am getting is minus j 3590 amperes the next step is to find out the value of va0 va1 and va2 by the equation minus i a naught z naught i a naught that is the one more thing i have to remember here that is the current that is the i a one is equal to i a two is equal to i a naught in this case because it is line to ground fault that is the conditions what were derived when if you are deriving the equation for the fault current therefore we know the value of i a1 already here we know the value of i a1 therefore i a2 as well as i a0 is same we know the value of z0 we know the value of z0 we know the value of z1 
and also z2 then you have to substitute i0 as i1 i1 is there here i2 is also replaced by i1 or all are equal then after substituting you are getting these are the the voltages that is va1 sorry va0 va1 and va2 value you are getting then to get the line to ground voltage or power phase voltage therefore i am using va is equal to or i am represented in the previous slide as va and vbn or you can simply write va vb vc also therefore you substitute the value of va not va1 and va2 you have to get zero here because there is a fault is occurs on a phase that is line to ground fault therefore voltage becomes zero that is quite evident from this then substitute the value of va0 a square value va1 similarly a and va2 then you are getting the the voltage vb similarly put the value of va0 va1 and va2 and we get the, the value of vc means we are getting here the phase values you are getting the phase value to get the line values to get the line values what you have to do you have to take the difference between the two phases that is it is if it is a vab means it is a va minus vb of course it is the the vector difference va minus vb here it is vb minus vc and it is vc minus va therefore if you are making that the value of per unit value what we are getting voltage these are the per unit value of the voltage what we are getting here okay then if you are interested in the actual value actually the voltages what were calculated here is per phase basis therefore when if you are converting it to actual value that is the base quantity of per phase voltage should be multiplied to get the the actual value therefore to get the actual value it is vab is 1.01 into 13.8 divided by root 3 that is the what we are getting is 8.05 angle remains same that is 17 77.7 it is so many holes that is in terms of kilo holes it is in terms of kilo holes similarly if we are going for vbc it is 1.980 into 13.8 divided by root 3 that is what we are getting here is 15.78 an angle same 270 so many kilo holds whereas vca what we are getting here is once again it is 1.01 multiplied by 13.8 divided by root 3 that is what i am getting here is 8.05 an angle of 102.3 so many kilohertz this is how we have to find out the actual value by multiplying 13.8 divided by root 3 because this vab vb vca and vbc are derived from their phase value that is why i am multiplying 13.8 divided by root 3